Ready for this, mate? Go. <laughs> Hey guys, Toby Price here. We're at the Bivouac Barber Shop. And my next customer I've got in here at the moment is Carlos Sainz. Quite nervous for this, actually. This guy's a legend of the, the Dakar Rally and uh, looking forward to this one. <laughs> hey, mate, how are you doing? Uh, all good. Very good. I'm surprised you come over here and you yeah, trust me to come yeah. to the Bivouac Barber Shop. You know what, you know what to do. Ah, uh, a can rough I, idea. Can I trust you? Ah, oh, you can always trust me. There's no problem. You, you can follow me on the trails and then I can look after you here in the bivouac. So we will put this on, mate. But you've, uh, you've kind of come prepared, all cleaned up and sorted here, so I don't really have much hair to, to work with. So. I've got some moisturiser cream here. I'll uh, I might just rub a little yeah, bit. Of... I agree, you know. But for the age, it's good to have good good cream. For you've got look waves. a little bit younger. And all that. Yeah, you, hey, you look you look 25, so it's do okay. You you do your best. I'll I'll do my best for you. No problem. So <laughs> we'll tie this off. We'll get you all sorted. We'll have a bit of a chat and see how it's all going for the Dakar. I, I did have the bowl ready for you, just in oh, case you wanted oh. a haircut like me, but I don't think this would be too good if we put that. You think so? I reckon we'd nearly get it sorted exactly the same as mine. That would be good to go. <laughs> but this is, yeah, this is the way I cut my hair for sure. It's perfect. But this, what's happened here? Uh, this is my longest, uh, my longest relationship I've ever had with my hair. We'll leave the clippers alone, but we've got some uh, some nice moisturiser for you, mate. We'll put a little bit on the face and get you all sorted. Oh, come over this side. We'll have a chat this way. So, mate, how is uh, the Dakar 2020 going for you here in Saudi Arabia? Well, so far, so good, no? Yeah. I think it's really interesting new country. We found really fantastic landscapes. Yes, no, so far it's been, been quite a good challenge and uh, the new scenery and everything is really, yeah, ready for this, mate? <laughs> cool. <laughs> But yeah, it's, uh, so far it's been really good, and um, we, uh, we're definitely all uh, getting pretty sorted for the next four years over here, so it should be, should be all pretty uh, exciting times for us. And the Mini? Mini is handling well and... Yeah, I mean, it's good. We can show this year, capitalize a little bit the work we did before the car last year. Yep. We improve a little bit more. And yeah, very yep. close battle with Stefan and with uh, Nasser for sure. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, but uh, the car seems to be working fine. The car for you is a two wheel drive? Two -wheel. It's not, not four wheel. No, so. two -wheel. But you have the, the auto inflate deflate Absolutely. system. Absolutely. Last year, one of the problems last year was the inflate deflate system was not working. So yep. we have to to cope with that last year, but this year, you know, without that system in a two-wheel drive, you can forget. Yeah, so it's impossible. This year so. it seems to be working. No, very good. And Look, Looking good. Right, you, yeah, well, we'll a little bit here, a little, little bit, bit up there? Yeah. Okay, no worries, we'll get you up soon. Sorted up here. There we go, epic. <laughs> but no, very good. So you, uh, you, you actually come from a, a family of motorsport racing? Your son races in the Formula One. How is how is that compared to Formula One compared to the Dakar Rally? What do you enjoy most? Well, I, I think uh, you know Formula One and Dakar are probably the two extremes in motorsport. Yes, know? yep, They're absolutely two extremes. And I visit the races. I enjoy Formula One, but I still like the Dakar. I still yeah. like rally. <laughs> he's, this guy is very competitive. He still loves being in there and getting involved. And at the moment, he's leading that right. So it's. Uh, Pretty amazing. The, the whole family is uh, motorsport driven and 
it's really cool to watch all the documentaries and everything you guys get up to. It's uh, quite amazing. So oh, Carlos uh, is every day. I need ten minutes to explain to him what is going on and why you lose here and why this split happened this and and why you do this and why you do that and and then what is tomorrow and how is the car? You know, when I'm asking him after a race or after a practice, how was the car? He answered two, three words. I need to record one of our conversations and, you know, show him when we are in the track. Now you have, you need at least one minute of explanation, not yeah. two words. Like not two words, exactly. So That's not fair. Sometimes there's a bit of payback here and there. Yeah. So uh, you ask many questions and he asks as many questions. Mm -hmm. but he asks more, actually. He asks more. <laughs> but no, very good. Well, um, mate, I think we've kind of got you sorted out. Better not rub your face too much. Thank you for your treatment. No I feel problem. already, you know, le ah. le much better. You feel much younger. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and can I come tomorrow? No problem. Anytime. <laughs> the Bivlac Marber is always open for you. And uh, I wish you all the best for Thank the you very time. much. And you too. Good luck. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, didn't get any of his nose and that, so we're, uh, yeah, nervous times. But I think now I'm going to try and get this off him. I don't want to choke him out. So Actually, I need a haircut. You need to, oh, don't trust me with a haircut. No. <laughs>